Hi everybody, welcome to the class, uh, welcome to the session and this is a new new course I'm doing for you or a new uh, uh, series of videos I'm doing for you. A lot of you have been demanding uh, from my side to do something on, on quants etc. So I thought I'll bring out uh, 50 must know questions on quants for all of you preparing for uh, aptitude exams. So we are, we are doing this, this uh, uh, module or this uh, series of uh, uh, broadcasts for you. And please remember this, uh, 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 just remember this we are bringing to you, of course, from our side. But from, uh, from your side, what we want in return is that you do spread the word around about the channel, about the videos, do share the videos, and, uh, and, and make sure that you, you uh, help us grow as fast as possible uh, as, we, as we move uh, in our journey towards, uh, towards our, uh, our, our uh, so to say, uh, uh, objectives as well as our uh, contribution to, to making uh, a little bit of education available through us or whatever we can do with respect to education, making, making it more accessible to, to people through our YouTube channel. So coming back to this, so please do subscribe to the channel and do share the share the, this thing. So one of the things that I decided when I when I started uh, when I thought about this was that every time uh, when I do something, I always start from number systems or or uh, from uh, from arithmetic etc. So in this series, I'll I'll start from the other end. I'll start from the higher maths part, the the the, the questions which are built on functions uh, etc. We'll start from from there and uh, uh, we'll we look at uh, uh, questions maybe. Uh, 10, 10 to 12 selected questions from each of the blocks I'll do inside this series. So this is the first question I have uh, selected for you today. And uh, hello to everybody watching this, this live. This is the first question I've selected for you today. And this is the question for today. Uh, this is a CAT, CAT 2019 question, also relevant to a lot of other aptitude exams. So the question says, uh, what is the number of solutions of the equation mod 6x squared plus 1 is equal to 5x square. So the, the question talks about this. Uh, let me just write it in freehand. Mod mod x bracket 6x square plus 1 is equal to 5x square. So I chose this question because of two reasons. One reason is that this question involves number of solutions, which is a very common uh, theme in aptitude tests. And the second reason I chose this question was because of the fact that it also involves a, very, a second very common theme uh, inside this, which is the use of, uh, of modulus in a solution and opening the modulus in a solution. So both these, both these aspects uh, become or make this important, this question important. You have to know how to, how to handle these questions. And please remember a little bit of advice on studying this, this area. This is from the functions and equations area, the block five of my quants book. And, uh, uh, and, and if you look at this uh, uh, block, block five, the block five may what happens that the process of studies, uh, there, there's a lot, very strong, strong disconnect between studying the theory and what you have to do inside the problems. So, so those of you who are struggling with block five, a little bit of advice there. Those of you who are struggling with block five, what you should, what you should try to do is try to understand the standard moves that you have to do uh, inside uh, inside questions, inside various question patterns. So if you can identify question patterns and understand what to do inside a particular pat pattern of question, rather than trying to study the theory and then trying to load yourself with theory, just focus on, for example, for this question, you need to know two, three moves, which, which you need to know. If you know those moves, you, you, you'll be uh, automatically self-sufficient while solving this question, right? So when you're solving a question like this, what happens uh, is, that first of all, uh, when you're talking about number of solutions, number of real solutions, we're talking about how many times with, with x as a real number is LHS equal to RHS, right? That's, that's basically, basically it. But then the part of the problem here is the modulus. So the, the logic of the modulus is that when you open the modulus in an algebraic fashion, and inside the modulus, the number is, in, is, a, is a positive number, to then as an equation, it can, it, you can just get rid of the modulus because the modulus does not do anything to a positive value. So, so the solution starts with, of this question starts with, if x is positive, if x is positive, 
if x is positive, the equation becomes x into 6x square plus 1 is equal to 5x square. And maybe, in fact, we can talk about if x is 0 also, the same logic applies. Now, since the question is about number of solutions, you will try to find how many values of x will satisfy LHS equals RHS. That's the whole question. So, one, you, one thing you can automatically see without doing any algebraic uh, uh, work after this is that when x is 0, LHS and RHS will become equal, equal to 0 because x is 0 and 5x square will also be 0. So, 0 is definitely one solution. So, a solution to see that the graph is 0 pay is solution. X is 0 is a solution to this equation. So, the other part is, I mean, and, and when you're trying to look for solutions on a for a for an equation, you think of the number line, the x-axis, and you try to see that your x-axis is divided into three uh, three parts: the zero value, the positive value, and the negative value. So we have to try to see that when x is positive to the right of zero, how many solutions does this have? So when x is positive, this equation opens up like this only. And uh, uh, since you have removed zero, you can actually delete this and delete this because you can divide right through by x. If x was 0, you would not divide by x right through. But when x is 0, you have changed that x 0 is a solution and I am not no longer checking for that. So you can actually delete both sides, uh, divide both sides by x and delete that. So you get a quadratic equation, 6x square minus 5x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now all you need to check is is this the roots real? Hai kya? Please remember, the question is not about finding the roots. So inside the exam, if you have the confidence and the belief uh, to, to do this, you will just ask yourself, is the roots real? Hai kya? And for the roots being real, you know, for any quadratic equation, the, the theorem, the, the logic is, for any quadratic equation, ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. The roots will be real if b square minus 4ac is greater than or equal to 0. That's, that's, the, that's the logic the discriminant of a quadratic equation. So uh, if you check that here, b is minus 5, so b square is 24, 24 minus 4ac, 6 into, uh, 4 into 6 into 1, uh, sorry, 25 minus 4 into 6 into 1, 24 is equal to 1. So th the roots are actually real. But here a factor or which you, which you have to now consider, ki agar roots is positive are roots real are you're getting the roots of this equation as real so are the roots positive because you started from a premise this may a short circuit hota hai ki before we say ki iske two roots hai, therefore two solutions here before we say that there's one one short circuit to these kind of questions and that short circuit is that if you start with x is positive you are starting with the premise x is positive this equation has come with that from that premise and the end point is that the outcome is that x is negative. If it is like that, then you say that this is a short circuit and this is not a possible value. Because you started from x is positive and the answer you are getting for x is negative. So you will have to test. So I will correct myself here. You will have to test the roots and try to see whether the roots are positive or not. So, so you use the, use the quadratic formula and the quadratic formula minus b which is 5 plus minus under root b square 25 minus 24. So that's 1 upon 2 into 6, 2a, 12. So you can see that whether it's 6 by 12 or 4 by 12, both the roots are actually coming positive. And hence, we have got two more roots, two roots when x is positive. So a root to x 0 pe aage, dusra root, two roots you are getting at x positive. So that makes it three roots. And please remember, this is a CAT 2019 question. So, so this you're playing for three marks if you're if you're solving this question. Now, the third part of this is that what if x is negative? Are we getting roots in the other range? So, if if x is negative in that sense, zero pe to aage, positive mein do roots aage. X negative to kya hoga? So x negative hoga, hota hai. So, what what basically a modulus does? The logic of a modulus is that it takes a, neg a negative number and makes it positive. So when, when x is negative, the, the expression mod x, if you remove the mod, will operate as minus x. So you have an equation minus x into 6x square 
plus 1 is equal to 5x square. So again, you can cancel this out. And what you have, basically, is uh, what you have, basically, is 6x square plus 5x plus 1 is equal to 0. And again, I have to check again. Is the roots are real? Because b square 25 minus 4ac, 4 into 6 into 124. That's coming out to be positive. So the roots are real. But are the roots negative? Are these two roots negative? So if I, if I look at the value of these two roots, the roots are going to be minus 5 under root plus minus under root b square 25 minus 24. That's 1 upon 2a, which is 12. And of course, you, you need to be uh, quick with do, doing this stuff because uh, you have to get through questions like this in one and a half to two minutes, which your top competitors will do inside the exams. So here you can see that both these roots will turn out to be negative because minus 5 plus 1 or minus 5 minus 1 karo, dono negative angle. You actually don't need to find the roots. You just need to see whether the two roots are negative. So I'm getting two negative roots here, uh, which, which if, you, if you try to look for it, it's minus 1 by 3. Uh, with minus 5 minus 5 plus 1 and minus 5 minus 1 is minus 1 by 2. So these two roots are there or either jo tumhare do roots are 5 plus 1 by 2, 1 by 2 and 5 minus 1 by 2 is 1 by 3. So these two roots are there, 0 is a root and two, two roots on the other side. So do do let me know on the on the chats uh, about uh, whether you like in this series and you want this to continue and, and as I said, please help us grow by spreading the word around and sharing what we are doing here and sharing the videos around. Thank you so much. I'll be back. There's uh, another one I'm doing immediately after this. Uh, that's the I'm the 2022-24 shortlisting criteria. So it'll just go live in five minutes. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.